For over 20 years, Coloradans have been able to experience authentic German and European holiday traditions right in the heart of downtown Denver. To tell us all about this year's Chris, Kringle, Chris, <laughs> Chris Kindle Market is Samantha Tilner. I don't know why that's hard for me to say. It's so simple to You're say. You're not the only one. Don't Chris, feel bad You want to say it. Chris Kringle is what I want to say, and <laughs> yeah. it's not. It's, it, it's, it's a wonderful market. It's been around for so long. Let's really just start by talking about it and how long it's been around in the sense that you know, what can people experience? If you haven't gone yourself, if you've been this here this whole time and haven't been, what can they experience? Absolutely. Um, well, first of all, thank you for having me. Um, the market is open all the way until December 23rd. We're open every day. It's free and open to the public. It's really the place where you have to go to get your Christmas spirit on. If you're like kind of waiting for December to hit and get into the, the spirit of the holidays, this is the perfect place to go. And you can kickstart your holiday shopping and find international and local artisan gifts uh, that you can buy for your family. Oh my gosh, and so many <laughs> wonderful things. I do understand though that the Mile High Tree is gonna be at Civic Center Park, right? Can you see this from the market? Can you experience all that together? Yes, yeah, so actually um, you're able to walk around the market and the Mile High Tree at the same time when the opening hours uh, overlap. So we're really excited about the um, partnership this year with Visit Denver to bring the Mile High Tree into Civic Center Park because now we have three main attractions. We have the Denver Chris Kindle Market, we have the Mile High Tree, and then we also have the holiday lights at the city and county building. That's right, so yes. So it's just, it's Christmas central right it now. It really is. It's <laughs> just such a holiday spirited festival exactly. all around in yeah. all that the entire area right there. All right, let's start with these gifts, okay? They're, these are not just everyday gifts you might find somewhere in a store near you. These are unique gifts. Talk about that. Absolutely, so um, everything you can find at the market is really either um, international or it's coming from local Colorado um, manufacturers, so we're really excited. For example, if we, we start here on the right, uh, we actually have a baby fire pit here and a s'mores kit. This is an indicator for um, what we have at the market. We actually have a Kinder Wunderland this year, which is a kid's area where you can buy s'mores kids and you can roast them over the fire. Oh, fun. Um, so that's a really fun um, interactive experience. Obviously, you can't miss uh, Bob's Roasted Nuts, one oh. of the market's favorites. Um, very European tradition, too, at the markets. Um, we always have our commemorative mugs um, at the market. We have a new design every year, and um, the Steins actually sell out fairly quickly. They do. Yes, so this is a limited edition Stein. This might be one of the last ones that we have out there. And um, we, for the first time ever, we actually have a Kinder oh. mug, which is a kid's mug, which is kind of like a cute Look uh, at penguin. how cute that is. Absolutely. Exactly. I mean, if you want to get your hands on these folks, you better do it quickly <laughs> if, they, if there's any left, right? Indeed, indeed. Yeah, because uh, there are some people who collect the whole, every year of them, which Absolutely, is wonderful. Absolutely, yeah. Which is really we move on to some of these other gifts, right? Yeah. So um, then obviously we have some like decorative um, things at the market. Your typical nutcracker from Germany. This is actually coming from Germany. We have these uh, little tiny houses that are so popular at the market every year. Um, they're made in Lithuania. Um, this little tree, for example, is made in Ukraine from one of our vendors that has been with us for 20 plus oh, years. Oh, wow. Let, let's talk about this real fast, if <laughs> I may. This is, explain what it is, because if you were to feel this, you wouldn't yeah. know that you were feeling anything. And if you're thinking, Gina, you're being silly, <laughs> wait until you see this, right? Yeah, so this is actually alpaca fur. Uh, we have winterborn alpaca that are selling um, not only stuffed animals, but also scarves. Oof. So if you want something more subtle. Um, so amazing. This uh, really feels very amazing. Let's so. talk about the different <laughs> things you have for families and kids. I know yeah. that some uh, Denver 7 people will be there as well. Yes, absolutely. So um, we have story times. Uh, the next uh, Sundays, three Sundays, we have story times for kids. Um, at, on Sundays is our family day. Um, and Jacqueline Allen and also Anne Trujillo will be reading for the kids. So yeah. we're really excited. That's always good. You know, then mm -hmm. we always have, I mean, but the, the food and the drink and everything like that. Do you have to make a reservation? You don't have to make a reservation. Uh, we do have a reserved section in the heated festival hall tent. So we do recommend to make a re uh, reservation when it gets very crowded. Um, but also for some of the weekends, we're already sold out for reservations. So um, the best day to, uh, to really enjoy the market and ha not have the biggest crowds is during the week. Okay, well yeah. that's good too. We mm -hmm. all need things to do. Exactly. I wanna also add, I wanna brag on you a little bit. <laughs> this is one of the most successful, right? 
yes. Christmas markets mm -hmm. in the country. And I love that we can say we have it here in Denver. Indeed, yeah. We're actually really proud because we got nominated as one of the best 10 holiday markets of the country again this year. Last year we were placed number five and uh, the voting is still going on until December 5th. So okay. um, if you go on vote to now. Reader's Choice 10 Best and vote for the Denver Chris Kindle Market, we might get on a pedestal this year. All right, let's try it, <laughs> let's do it. All right, okay. Denver 7 is a proud sponsor of the Chris Kindle Market, <laughs> where you can experience the warmth and charm of an authentic German market, really right in the heart of Denver. This is so great, folks. Take a stroll through Civic Center Park through December 23rd. Visit ChrisKindleMarketDenver.com for hours and the entertainment schedule.